of what is the new economy. In, in many countries, um, this is a new metaphor, the, the new economy. I'm very excited about this because it shows that uh, people have uh, recognized that this is a transition process is happening. And uh, what it means uh, on the material level is that we're moving from the fossil fuel-based economies of the industrial era, where we were bashing metal and um, uh, all of these manufacturing processes, to economy uh, which is more information, services, uh, quality of life. And the, the, uh, the thing to look for is that from, we're still running the, uh, on the old statistics, uh, the gross national product. And what they meant by that was all of the industrial production, the just the quantitative production, more and more and more of material goods. And where we're going to now is the quality, not only the quality of the products and services, but the quality of life in the whole society. Uh, keeping the air clean, keeping the water clean, um, uh, meeting the new needs, um, education, um, tourism, uh, ecotourism, where people want to go and um, uh, respect uh, and learn from nature rather than live in a hotel in air conditioning, you know, and all of this kind of thing. So this is what the, the new economy means, really. Um, so there are many different aspects of it. Uh, the shifting production base toward renewable resources and very elegant uh, new methods of working uh, with nature, but also evolving um, beyond uh, just the numbers of the GNP. And the way you can think of this really is that um, the GNP uh, the economists used to have the old pie chart, you remember, and there was a public sector and a private sector, and that was about it. And there was a little piece in there where people were beginning to drop out, and in some society they called it the underground economy, where people said, oh, I don't want to be in this rat race, I'm going to go and live on the land and barter, exchange goods and all of this. And so uh, there is a richer picture uh, of the economy, which helps you to see the new possibilities, which I use, and which is a three-layer cake instead of a pie. And, and the three-layer cake has icing on the top. So think of this three-layer cake. And the top layer, uh, the icing, is the private sector, which is entrepreneurial and very creative. And then this rests on uh, another a layer, uh, which is the public sector. This is the infrastructure and all of the goods we must provide uh, collectively, uh, schools and uh, hospitals and roads and all of this kind of thing. And then uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the old model, uh, these were the only two sectors. And so they would take all the numbers from these top two layers to make the GNP. But there's two, num two layers underneath which were out of sight of the economists. And the third layer is what I call the love economy. And this is where all of the new services industries are beginning to emerge, where people figure out how to do new service companies and nonprofit organizations um, uh, uh, serving each other's real needs, uh, redesigning communities. Um, helping with drug treatment programs, all manner of things, a new kind of health care. And it also, uh, this love economy is, is already about 50% of all of the work that's done in every society, but it's just we have never noticed it because it wasn't in the GNP. And this work, of course, is unpaid. And then the last uh, layer of the cake at the bottom is the unpaid work of nature which we don't notice. And nature is taking our wastes and processing them and keeping them clean and returning uh, everything uh, for us to use again. And uh, we have, uh, unfortunately, the two top layers uh, of the old economy uh, have been cannibalizing the two bottom layers, the love economy and nature's economy, because we didn't notice them. And so now, when you have this uh, picture of all the layers, you see where all of the possibilities are uh, for the new jobs, the new services, 
uh, supporting the love economy, bringing it into the mainstream, and all of the environmental and the green industries and the green technologies of the future, uh, and it will all be in the same accounting system. And it won't be the GNP. It will be quality of life, indicators of the quality of the total uh, life in the environment.